Nope. Hello. It's me, your favorite seamster. Nope, I hate that. Uh, Taylor, seamstress is fine too. Hi, my name is Joseph Krepper or Callie G. You can call me either. I am here in my kitchen again um, because my downstairs, which I would like to be like a nice sewing area, at least the sewing part, maybe not the cutting, but the sewing part, that's not quite unpacked yet. It is still the end of November and we're just taking things one day at a time. And today the thing that we're taking during our day at a time is starting on our outfit for Krimbus. Now, it might be appropriate that we're in the kitchen actually because the reading time theme for this year is Christmas in the kitchen. So we're going to be making a bunch of things in the kitchen, I suppose. Probably mostly like reading stories and singing songs, but also food. I would assume. It's implied, right? I kind of didn't know what I was gonna do for this because we changed the program theme to Christmas in the Kitchen. Not last minute, but um, at a later time, I was thinking about doing something else, but then I like just, you know, we had to shift gears. So I went to the Joanne and I was like, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know what I'm gonna do. And I have a lot of food-based outfits already. <laughs> Maybe not a lot, but a couple. And I guess I could have worn those now that I'm thinking about it. Okay, actually, never mind. We're not gonna make anything. I'm just gonna wear my hand dress. I was just in the Joanne and I saw lots of different fabrics, but there's one that jumped out at me, you know? I was looking, I think, through the Christmas fabrics, the Christmas prints, for maybe like a Christmas cookie type thing, right, right, right. Well, instead I found this gem and it is, I know you're dying to know, Christmas avocados. It's an avocado! <laughs> Thanks! Christmas avocados, there's Santas, there's even uh, snowmen, where's the snowmen? Yeah, you can see the snowmen like right there, upside down. Yeah, and they're, they're just having a good time. And I thought, okay, I have to make an outfit out of this. So that's the plan. That's really the whole gig. It's just Christmas avocado dress. I really just walked up to the patterns and I was like, that one. So I picked this one up. It cost me quite a bit of money because it was on the sale or nothing, but I thought it looked really cool. Um, it, we're not doing the coat, but we're gonna do this part. It's a Butterick R11127. And I like how it has the, the kind of the the full sleeve, kind of the, the gathering here. And also this is supposed to be like a sheer fabric. So that's like, you know, intrigue or whatever. It's gonna look interesting because I can tell that these, this part, the bodice and the skirt, they're all one, one thing. And that is going to definitely be interesting looking just because I'm not gonna take the time to match up all the fabric so that the avocados are seamless throughout the seams. But then I was like, okay, this has to be more like kitchen. So I went back to Joanne another day and I got this pattern for really cheap. This is a costume pattern. And all I'm gonna do is use the hat. So we're making a baker hat too. It's all gonna be patterned with avocado stuff. And then for the sheer fabric, I got this. It's like a blue. I thought that the blue looked really nice for a Christmas colors anyways, because you know, it gives you the like winter wonderland vibe. Um, but last year I did a winter wonderland vibe, but in purple. And this time we're doing Christmas in the kitchen, Christmas in the kitchen, but blue. And then, yeah, what else? I don't know. That's really it. So I'm gonna take some time and cut out the pieces and you can see me do that. I know you've seen me do it like a bunch of times at this point but i'm gonna do that and then we're just gonna take it a day at a time like i said because that's really <laughs> that's really what these past couple of years have been all about is taking a day at a time making the next best decision the next choice i guess is what my friend mr rowan always says but cool let's go <laughs>
this is what's annoying is that I'm trying to make it be with the grain line, but I can't cut, <laughs> can't cut two at once. So I have to cut them individually and that's just annoying. I guess that's not as bad as like it really not fitting all the way across, but. Look at what just came, what? Little avocado earring, so cute. Yes. Um, Miss Barb's gonna make these into little Santas or something for me and they're gonna be super cute and go with my dress and I'm super excited. Hi, he says hi. Hi, it's me. Did, did I show you this sweater already? It's Matt Bernstein's uh, bring back manly man, men sweater, anyways. Hi, um, nothing really has changed except for that I I got a vaccine and then I got kind of sick after that and so I like took a day off and then I had to leave to go to Thanksgiving break and now I'm back from Thanksgiving break and I have not cut out any of the avocado stuff so that's all you're gonna see me do tonight because I am still kind of feeling I'm not still feeling kind of under the weather. I'm feeling under the weather for something else. And I think it's stress over not getting the stress done. So we're gonna get it done and maybe that's the remedy. We'll find out. From the wishes of children coming Hi, um, I have all the pieces cut out. It's okay, so I just got done with the <laughs> Hello, it's a new day. Um, it's a, quite a bit later after I've finally gotten done cutting out all my pieces. Now that I have my pieces done, I need to start sewing them together. So that's what you're gonna see now. You're gonna see me sewing the pieces together. The first part that I have to start with is the yoke. So that's the sheer part that, um, you know, there's the intricate collar piece, so you'll see that. It's not really intricate, but it's gonna be that avocado solid color uh, fabric for the collar and then the yoke part. So it's just a lot of like details that I think is gonna take me a long time. I have less than two weeks to get this done. Um, I just got done with a round of shows at Charlie's. So, you know, I've been busy and we're just gonna get as much done as we can every single day and I'm gonna take a deep breath and it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. It's fine. If you haven't seen me do this before, this is literally just applying interfacing with a iron. And it's pretty self-explanatory. You just put the interfacing on the interfacing side down and iron it down. And then you should also iron down, um, you know, your other pieces of fabric. This, I am ironing what will be the edge of the back piece. So I iron that piece down and then right here, I am folding it over again and stitching it.
Because when the collar pieces are sewn together and turned inside out to make the collar, you will be slip stitching it from the inside to make sure that it has a nice clean looking um, seam on the inside. You have to iron the edges of the inside of the collar in. So that's what I was just doing there. And here I am kind of just um, reapplying that. Oh! Hi, I got a haircut. Um, I also got a little bit of sewing done, so yeah. I, I have like a better dress form, but it's downstairs and I don't want to go get it. Um, so I'm using this one. And I got, so I just put the collar on. This is something that you had to, this is the inside because you can see all those raw edges. This is something that you had to uh, slip stitch all the way around. So I just, um, you know, ironed all this good stuff, put it around, did the thing. And then I sewed up the, the sides here. That's where the arms go. This is what it'll look like on the body. Yes, queen. What is this? Hi, uh, so I'm just, I'm gonna talk down to you here, or I guess I could do this. Hi everyone. Um, so it's the next day, I um, happened to just sewing without actually showing you anything, um, but it's really boring. I just put in a zipper. This is a different way of doing a zipper than I'm, can you hear me if I, this is a, this is a different way of doing a zipper than I'm used to, and I think it's a better way, and I'm really excited about it. So basically what you do is, um, Okay, so basically what you do is you have the two panels, you haven't sewn them together at all, okay? And then you sew up uh, one panel just on the, on the side um, and then do it again and sew it this close and then you um, take it and it's still not connected but then you're connecting them by putting the zipper on the other panel and then they're connected. Okay, so then this is the gap. You leave this part kind of free. So there's like actually like a hole here. See, put my finger in it. Okay. And then um, you take, you, you sew up the bottom. And then you're gonna get as far up as you can go. But then once you're done with that, you're gonna have a seam allowance and then you're gonna tack the end of it to the rest of the seam allowance. So it like, you don't have to sew all the way down this strip. You just have to, um, make sure, and that there's like a vanishing point, essentially. Look at my nails, ew. Okay, and then another update, okay. I, I, d it looks nice from a distance, right? It looks nice from a distance, right? I actually hate it. I hate this method. It actually, where, where's the end? So this is where it meets. I hate it. Okay, so the next, this is, hi. This is, I, I don't know what's going on this time. This is the, this is the next easiest part is, this is the, the back, because that's where the zipper is. That, you might not know this. Most dresses have zippers in the back, not all. Some have them in the side, some in the front. Yes, yeah, so this is the best, easiest part. So this is the back and this is the side back, because there's like six panels. And then you, once you, these together, you put the, the back to the front, and that's the easiest part of this dress, and I'm excited for it, and so you, you, I'll show you a couple of the seams. They all look the same. And here we have a tube. Oh, see, that's my cursed drive room. Is that cursed? Actually, the whole house is cursed. It's not actually cursed yet. It's pink in there. It's a big pink box. Anyway, now I have to put other stuff on it, like this 
um, this part. This part goes like this, and it's like that. And then there's sleeves. We're on a good roll. Hello, okay, so I've connected, <coughs> excuse me. <laughs> Hi, um, so I've connected the top and the bottom, so now it's a dress, see, okay, so I have a nice dress form, but it's downstairs, and this is just what I'm making do with. I like it, it's just not my nice dress form. Um, I'm hoping at one point that I'll get my downstairs figured out and then be able to sew down there and not have to do it on my kitchen table, but here we are. Anyway, so that's the plans. Oh, this is the dress. It's so long and it's just, it doesn't even, okay. That's the dress. My next job is to put the sleeves on it and we're gonna do the sleeves now. And it's, um, they're the same fabric as this, as you probably saw, and yeah, they have some nice, like, nice ruffles down at the bottom. No, uh, not ruffles. What's the word I'm looking for? Um, gathering. Sewing. You'll you'll see what happens. Um, there's just a bunch of, like, little details. Like, there's a slit um, for where you're supposed to be able to put your arm through. So the you have to, like, uh, sew up that slit and then slash it. And then... Um, yeah, like do a whole bunch of finishing so it looks nice, and that's the part that's taking a long time. You can't rush on. Hi, so here's my issue. Um, this is the piece that's supposed to be used to make everything look nice on this little, the slash that I cut there. This is longer than the width of that, so basically you're supposed to take this, slash it, and then put it like this and then this piece is supposed to go all the way across but this piece is longer than that and I don't think the point is to get to like gather it so that it it like meets up but there's like different sizes for each one but I, you know I just don't think that that's right so what I'm gonna do is alter this thing I, I made the little slash I'm gonna just pin it to the length and then whatever is left over is left over because I made both the slashes the same length and it just doesn't make sense to try and match this piece up to that. The little things like this will happen in, in patterns where I'm like, are you sure this is correct? And I just kind of have to guess. <laughs>
She's a woman. Um, okay, so this is, it's done, actually. This dress is done. I'm not really super chuffed about how the sleeves ended up, but everything else is actually like, maybe some of my most intricate and like detailed work thus far, which I'm proud of myself for, especially since a year ago, my Christmas dress, I was like, what am I doing? I was adding a bunch of extra stuff that didn't need to be added. It ended up being a mess. This one, I just followed the directions exactly except for like a couple things and it was nice and so here we are here's the dress da -na 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 -na. it's um kind of like a mid length it's i'm supposed to cover my knees it's whatever because i'm going to be standing in this kitchen while i'm doing it for reading time however the outfit's not done i have a hat that i need to make and so that's the the hat is going to be sewn next but i'm taking a break because today is sunday it's a sunday before reading time and the dress is done <laughs> And that's good. Um, it's gonna give me time to like clean my kitchen for Christmas in the kitchen. But I need to make the hat, and so I'm gonna give myself a break, I'm gonna do the hat, and then the hat will be done. I'm thinking about hair. Oh, I have earrings that are coming. Miss Barb's making the earrings, it's gonna be great. But I'm thinking about hair, and because I have such like a nice cut, after I make the hat, I'm gonna see like, does this look like a vibe? Does this look like a vibe on my head? And this might be, end up being my hair for reading time or I'll just wear something else because I have a whole bin. I'll show you. See, this is my this is my hair bin. Um, it's not organized really. I just mostly, usually it's all stuffed down in there. There's lots of ha uh, air that gets in there. See, there's some more uh, w wigs. There's wigs over here too, but you know, I that one's only on like a thing right now because I used it for the show last weekend. But okay, anyway, so these are all in here. These are all my wigs. I have so many, obviously, colors. Um, and they all have interesting names. Like this one's named Cute Brown Bus Driver from Spike. And this one's named Curly Black Short Pumpkin Lady, etc. You can probably guess what that was. There's other names on here like Black Medusa. What does that mean? Only I know. Um, Acid Bath Princess of Darkness. Gorbas Ombre. Zay. Zay gave that to me. That's what I, so that's how I know. Uh, Long Rock Star Chow Down. Jody used it. Stuff like that. I realized I was so gung-ho on getting this uh, hat done. I went to a rehearsal after I got this done, took a little break, ate some food, and then I'm um, working on the hat. So this hat pattern is literally, this is all the instructions on the hat. One, two, three, four. Um, the pieces are literally a big circle and just a band. And so right now I sewed the two ends of the bands together and now I'm pinning the, the sides of the band together so that they look nice. Um, I thought for some reason that they would be having me do like a slip stitch so that there was like a nice happy seam in the middle or like the, in the inside, um, but it doesn't look like that's the case. And that's probably because this is a, like a costume pattern. This Simplicity uh, S, S9164 is marked as costume. So they probably are just like get the thing together, which is fine for me. I'm okay with it. Um, I'm making a baker's hat, but this baker's hat is covered in Christmas avocados. So you know how often I'm gonna be able to use this? Not very. hair? I don't know. I don't know about this. Maybe I'll use this hair. Maybe I might just vibe on it. The hat itself is smaller than my head. Like I really, really have to like work it down in there to get it to be perfectly on. But it's certainly something I can pin on top of another wig or this hair. I don't know. Is this cute? Is this cute? Probably not actually. 
This looks like I might get hair in whatever I'm making and I don't know if that's the vibe. I think I'm gonna have to do a more classic short style. We'll find out. Anyways, so this is the hat and you already saw the dress. And so at the end of this week, I'm gonna get into makeup and uh, do the reading time. And you're gonna see me uh, just do that uh, right here. And I'm gonna remember to film the video, right? Woo! cook I really like the aesthetic of what no one looks like when they cook it truly is Christmas in the kitchen with this avocado look don't you believe it hello you think so much blood I think so thank you but show the people your earrings oh yes oh yes the earrings okay so obviously you've seen the print but Miss Barb made these earrings out of some existing earrings from Etsy I'll try to find them and put the link down below it's beautiful but yeah this is the look this is the look oh and I have as a little addition, this little apron that I'll also be wearing. This You can find this on the Reading Time with the Queen's Red Bubble Store, Miss Callie's Red Bubble Store, which is kind of a good merch. I gotta figure out how to put it on, but um, yeah, I'll, I'll be wearing this and we're gonna be making uh, lots of fun things in the kitchen. <laughs> Mostly stories and songs. <laughs> yeah, so if you haven't already, go watch um, Christmas in the Kitchen with Reading Time with the Queen's and also Follow me on Instagram and all this kind of business and make, uh, you know, say nice things about this <laughs> audacious dress. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, have a wonderful time. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Bye. Bye.